This is Fela Shadi Balaji, God's Grace Arts. I'm located at number 235, Iju Road, Balogun Bus Stop. I am a Minila. And the meaning of Minila is someone that makes trimmings for ladies, that make hats, fascinators, and all the accessories that ladies use. Being is for church or for bridals. So I am a Minila, a art maker. I've been into this business since 2004. I started right from when I was in a small room with my friend to the rise from my childhood when I was in secondary school. I loved doing things with my aunt. I was looking for a teaching job. I could not secure any. And that's how I went for learning this business and this literary work. Because right from my secondary school days, I was a clothing and tester student, so I love doing things with my hands. I so much believe in what I do with my hands. So I decided to go for hats making in 2005 and got a shop. There were lots of challenges, like money when I started, it was rough. I have to sell to many people on credits, but thank God you'll be the one, especially teachers. I'm using this medium to say a big thank you to the teachers then. The teacher that I knew in Fagba Junior Grammar School. They'll be the one that introduced me to other people like their pastor's life and all that. And on getting to them, when I make a beautiful ask for them, they'll pay me my money. So that's how I started gradually, gradually. So anything that you want to start in life, you start little. Even our God, when he, wants, when he created this world, he started with just two people with Adam and Eve. And see where we are today, like the sand of the sea, as he has promised Abraham. So, likewise, whatever you want to start, it's just the courage, the motivation, the love, the passion. When the passion is there, nobody will discourage you. Even if there is no capital, you, when you keep on striving, people around you will come in and God will favor you. And before you know, your dream will be actualized. Many people are into the business, so a lot of competition in the market. So you have to keep yourself upgrading. You don't relent. It wasn't the way we started 2004 or years before that we are doing things now. Different style, different things. You have to be up and doing. You have to be innovative every day. When you sleep, you think of it, how we like home house better and all that. And those are the things because even people that you don't know what to do, they are still into this business and some they are very good in doing this and i thank god over the years i've made a lot of customers and i've trained many people you know here in nigeria they believe in ah, i can do it truly you can do it but you have to be properly taught when you are properly taught you will know because as i'm making this as i sell materials as well when some come when they come in they ask thousands of questions and I'll tell them, this is what I can tell you. That means you've not gone for a proper training for this business. Because if at all you have been taught, these and this question you're supposed not to ask. So some I tell them, and some when I see that they are asking complex questions, I will advise them that they should go for proper training so that they can do better. I did not listen to any side talk. I am a woman of focus. Anytime I wanted to do something, nobody stops me. I started when I was single and then I was schooling. I was in school. Then I was in my ND in Lagos State Polytechnic. I am a computer science graduate. Well, I choose to work with my hand and make money. Really, I plan within myself that I cannot, it, with the stress of Lagos, I cannot go from Iju, maybe to Ireland because I want to collect 30 days and make one salary. No. With the little or bigger I make, I'm satisfied. So far, I'm doing this with my two hands. If I'm not selling, when I'm doing something with my hand, I'm happy that at least I can see what I'm doing with my hand. And I'm still aiming higher. I'm aiming higher in this business. If government can give out soft loans, People, the, to the beginners that are just coming and people like us as we have been into business for quite a long if government 
can make our lives to be very good to the extent that most of the things that we import from China's all these accessories I believe Nigerians can do better they can make all those things if there is light so that they can produce when they produce the cost will be cheaper actually no qualification it's just your you have to have passion of doing something because when the readiness of the arts is there when you have passion even if you become whatever you are learning you will grab on time but if anybody is forced to learn it might not the person might not find it easy but if you have the passion for it whatever you learn you will understand better most of my students at times when i tell them three to six months they come for a year they believe that uh, every day new things are coming they still come i don't pursue them anytime they come once they pay my charges i teach them what i know and there is no qualification anybody can learn i've taught grammars i've taught those who have not been to school and i've taught graduates even people that are coming this day they are graduates with the art making business you can make over rent thousand but now that there is lockdown there is challenges because church is under lock especially in Lagos and this our business people were asked to church fascinated to parties and all that but now that the church and the parties were on the lock is affecting so nothing is really coming in until things go back to normal when i was much younger when i was in secondary school when i was in my teenage year i was in ss1 i was doing clothing and textile so i have passion for it to the extent as when i did my work that was the first subject i had a because then we saw little gang, all these soldiers and all that for school. I love sewing so much. Actually, that's what I wanted to go for. But when I got to Lagos, the school that I wanted to attend there was too expensive for my parents. That's why I decided to go for art making. But I'm still going back to that sewing, making, making dress. Like the one I'm wearing, I made it myself. My dream initially is to make a woman from S to toe. If I make your hat, I make your dress, I make your shoe. Presently, the one I'm wearing, I sew it by myself. Most clothes I wear this day, I sew it by myself. So if I make your hat a fascinator, I make your dress, I make your shoe, you are complete. Instead of me quitting this business, I will ask you is making clothes as in fashion. Oh, I'm seeing myself doing great in the higher place when I had all these things together and praying to God when I have a place of my own where I can display all what I have in me where I can display it where I can do I will do better my advice for this young generation is that no matter the level of their education they should go for skills you must have something that you can do with your hand. Maybe it's fashion, or Greek, or anything. To be the plan B, because Nigeria of these days, white scholar job will be scarce, but other things that you have in your hands will last forever. When you are doing something where you are busy, you think less and you be productive. Your, your thinking, your innovative acts will more develop. So my advice is that no matter the level of education, they should still know something aside. Our government in Nigeria should help us to make our electricity stable. If Nigeria electricity is stable, our harbor here in Nigeria can be like China. That we don't need to import anything from China. There is nothing the Chinese is doing that we cannot do. We have people of high intelligent coaches here that can form things, can produce things, but because there is no light, they are limited. And now that there is crisis all over the world, the pandemic and all that, if we can, if there is stable light, we can produce here. Yeah, we have the raw materials and finished products without importing and all that. But the most design. This thing I may ask. We wrap them in nylon just because of dust. This 
a pop as the other ones. I put up here. These are the accessories for weddings. The bouquet. These are the creloni that I use to make something like this. These are the flowers that we use to beautify our art making. These are the feathers. The feathers to make our ass more beautiful. And look at the different embellishments. Shiny stuff to bring us more beauty. To make his gloom and all that. These are fascinators. 